If you're looking to improve the streaming experience on your Xbox Series S, this video is for you. I'm going to be sharing with you five tips for streaming on your Xbox Series S. Let's go ahead and dive in. So tip number one is going to be improving your upload speed. Your upload speed is by far the most important aspect when you're streaming because it determines whether you're going to lag or not. So when I went ahead and updated the settings on my Xbox to the settings I'm going to give you now, it took my upload speed from 84, I'll show you the screenshot here, all the way to about 134, so it increased it by 56. So I'm hoping that if you utilize these settings, it's also going to go ahead and increase your upload speed as well. So let's go ahead and change those settings now. So on your Xbox, Xbox, you want to come to settings. You're going to want to come to where it says network settings. And the first thing you want to do is you want to test network speed and statistics. It's going to be important because you want to have a benchmark to understand where your speed is currently. That way, when you change the settings, you can see if it improved it or if it made it worse. And if it made it worse, you can always reset it and go back to where you currently were at. Um, but for me, I've had a great experience with it. And some of my friends that I shared it with have had a great experience as well. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with you. So once you go ahead and have your speed written down, you're then going to want to come to where it says advanced settings. We're going to go into DNS settings. You're going to change this to manual. And then here, you're going to want to input what you see on the screen now, which is one, 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 one. You're going to press start. And then you're going to go ahead and do one, zero, zero, one and press start okay so that's going to be your dns settings then you want to come to where it says alternate port selection you're going to change select this to be manual as well and then you want to select the last one on the list so the last one that shows up on the list is the one you want to select don't ask me why i've tested them all and every single time the last one has given me the best performance so the last one that i have is 56029 it may be a little bit different for you just pick the last one on the list and then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and go to alternate Mac address and you want to select clear. This is going to go ahead and restart your console. So once you hit that, it's going to restart your console. And then once you restart your console, you want to come back here to the network settings and you want to select test network speed and statistics again to be able to see if your upload speed has improved, which I hope it is has okay if it hasn't improved or it made it worse all you simply want to do is you want to select advanced settings you want to go to dns click automatic then go to alternate port click automatic and that's going to go ahead and reset everything and then come to alternate mac hit clear it'll restart your console and you'll be back where you actually started but like i said in my experience this has actually increased your upload okay so tip number two is going to be to add low latency okay so low latency means how quick you can your the response from your controller to what you see on the monitor to the game happens right this is important especially if you play apex or rocket league this is important for that so most of your tvs and your monitors have a game mode on the settings in the monitors or the tvs themselves make sure you put it on game mode that's going to lower the latency as much as possible also the xbox series s if it's available to you based on what you have it connected to if you go to general and you go to tv and display options and you go to video mode you're going to see an option that says allow auto latency mode if it's available for you i highly recommend you go ahead and check it as what it's going to do is that it's, you don't need to change those settings once you get on the game it's automatically going to adjust your tv or your monitor to low latency mode allowing you to have a smooth experience when you're gaming so you don't really lag okay tip number three is going to be to increase your recording time okay as a streamer it's so important for you to be able to create content and grabbing clips from your game to be able to post on social media is not only going to help you build a community but it's also going to help you get more views so by default this is set to 15 seconds which i don't believe is enough you want to put it at the max which is one minute so to be able to do that you want to click the icon that's right before your profile picture you're going to come down to where it says capture settings and here's a few settings you want to go ahead and adjust where it says allow game captures you want to select captures by me or the game you then want to slave record what happened by default it's going to be at 15 seconds you want to put this at one minute automatically upload i personally don't put it that way because sometimes i push the button by accident and record something i don't want and it automatically uploads it and i don't want that so put don't upload if you want to be able to review before you actually put it into the xbox cloud then the game clip resolution you want to put it at 1080p of course the better quality the better but if you want more minutes and you don't really care about 720 you can put it on 720 and then you're able to go up to three minutes of recording but honestly i feel that one minute is more than enough especially if you're trying to do short form content on instagram on tiktok on YouTube shorts, typically 30 to 60 seconds is more than enough. 
And then as far as your capture location, I have it on internal storage. You can put it on internal storage or if you have an external device, you can do that there. Now, tip number four is going to be to make sure you update your bio. Okay, I can't stress enough how important it is to have your bio updated and ready for you to be able to get more subscribers. So when you click on your profile, Okay, because you can be playing games with somebody, somebody can add you, you could be streaming, and your profile is gonna give them information that they need to be able to not only find you, but learn more about you. So if you take a look at my bio, I'm gonna share with you some of the key things you want to include. So under location, let's start there. I'm not, I don't have my location there, why? Because I wanna utilize every space that I have available. So you can see there that I put how many subscribers I have on YouTube and my YouTube link, right? So they can find me there. Then in my bio, the first line that you wanna put is your schedule when are you live i'm live tuesdays and thursdays from 3 30 p.m to 5 30 p.m eastern time on my youtube channel where i'm talking about gaming and helping streamers then i ask them to subscribe for weekly videos on my youtube channel why because i teach them the basics of live streaming with easy to follow videos saving them time and money they're going to learn the foundation of what it takes to start and grow as a gaming content creator and they're going to learn things like how to stream using the xbox like you're doing right now uh, obs stream lives how to make your stream look professional and how to get more views on your content and live streaming. And this is one of those tips that helps you do that. Okay, now tip number five, it's gonna be related to Twitch. If you're a console streamer, most likely you're gonna be streaming to Twitch, especially if you don't have a PC. So the most important thing, if, if you set up all these settings that I show you on your Xbox, but you don't adjust the settings inside of the Twitch app, then you're not gonna have a good experience and you're still gonna go ahead and lag. So what I want you to do is go ahead and watch this video right here where I walk you step by step on how to set up your settings inside of Twitch so that way you don't lag and your stream looks professional. I'll see you guys in the next video.